Alright, um, welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. Um, essentially, I was looking around on Steam, saw the previews for XCOM 2, got excited about it, <clears throat> remembered that I had Enemy Unknown, that I played for a while, then my hard drive failed, I believe. Couldn't find the discs. But whenever I have a hard drive fail or break or whatever, I basically buy a new hard drive and put it in my computer. But I leave the old hard drives in just to use whatever usable space as storage. And so I copy-pasted my install file on my new hard drive. Um, then when I went in, I had no saved games. So I thought, why not just do a let's play from scratch? Uh, just wanna double check. Okay, I need subtitles. Uh, resolution's correct. Those are correct. Alright. Um, I guess I'll start with classic if it absolutely kicks my trash. I will go back down to normal. Um, Iron Man? No Iron Man. Tutorial? Yeah, I haven't played for a while, so... No, I think I can remember. Enough. You know what, just in case people haven't. Damage Roulette? Weapons have a much wider range of damage. Probably not. Randomized just seems to scare the crap out of me. That could be interesting. Uh, I'm not going to mess with those. Alright, let's see how this works. Hopefully the sound is a little better than on Grandia. Because, I mean, there are no audio options and it's just kind of ridiculous. How footsteps are three times as loud as anything else. And voices are so low. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. It's interesting, those things are pretty obviously on fire as they come down. And then they're cool enough, the dude almost just walks up and touches it. And then that one opened so much faster than the first one did. Hello, Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. 
to oversee our first and last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. I don't have a heavy yet, do I? Why did that dude have a light machine gun? Good luck, Commander. And five dudes just got it. Doesn't that take an upgrade? Like five dudes just got in the Sky Ranger. I think you only start with four. That was the last transmission, sir. Patch me through to Voodoo 3 1. Yeah, there's only four. Intelligent, possibly extraterrestrial life. Gee, I think. Doo -doo -doo. Should not be taking this long to load. when it's ready. Yeah, the whole copy-paste thing may have mixed something up, but you would think I'd get an error message of some sort. At 1900 hours Zulu, several unidentified objects fell to Earth. That's interesting. After ruling out the possibility of a downed satellite, we now believe these objects to be extraterrestrial in nature. Alright, that is interesting, because normally this will play while the rest of the mission is loading. Central, this is Big Sky. Looks like we found the crash site. Roger, Voodoo 3-1. Any sign of activity? Negative. Nothing's moving down there. Okay. Set her down nearby. Get you out of the open and into cover. Whatever did this could still be out there. Delta One, take point. Take cover behind that debris directly in front of you. Good. Now advance to the vehicle nearby. Delta 2, your turn. Move up to the debris. That thing isn't going to offer you much cover, but it's better than nothing. There's full cover straight ahead. Advance to that position. Delta 3. Central, I have movement. 30 meters north of my position. Police vehicle. Roger. Proceed to the next vehicle for a better vantage point. Except the police Delta vehicle four. isn't moving, check is it? it out. It's a long way from your position, and there's no available cover between here and there. So you Holy hell. What do you see, Delta 4? Oh, okay. Looks like one of the recon teams, sir. It looks like something. Is that your man, Delta 4? Negative, sir. That's someone else. Dr. Valen, what's he saying? He is saying, help me. That radio transmission is coming from somewhere north of the squad's current position. Based on its strength, probably from inside a structure. Thank you, Doctor. Delta, advance and infiltrate that building. And remember, stay in cover.
You know, it's interesting that all of the. I got a lot of blood here. Roger. See where it's coming from. I mean, I've got this secret. Central. I think I just found another one of the recon team. Know what's left of him. But this doesn't make sense. Looks like he's been dead for a week. Even more perplexing is the cause of death. It appears that he was eviscerated when something burst out of him from the inside. But the Sir, I have visual up. on the object. Yeah. Permission to approach. It's the only cover between you and that building. Permission granted. Yeah, crystals don't show up for quite a while, do they? Talk to me, soldier. What is it? They don't I even do no that. I have no idea what this yeah, thing do. is. But I can confirm that it's no satellite. Roger. All right, Delta Squad. You're almost to the building. Keep moving. It's interesting I've got this, like, s these secret agents for the secret alien hunting organization, and they're all okay, rookies. People. Now let's get inside. Delta One, there's a window in front of you. Let's take a look. In position. Looks clear. Copy that. Get in there and get to cover. Delta Two, that door's in our way. Take it down. <coughs> Central, we have eyes on the target. He's armed. Copy, Delta-3. Okay, everyone. Get into position nearby, but do not approach. Doctor, see if you can communicate with him. Tell him to drop his weapon. I will try. Hello. Können Sie mich hören? Wir sind hier, um Ihnen zu helfen. Bitte lassen Sie Ihre Waffen fallen. One of my Waffen was capitalized. Keep your eyes open, people. I don't like the looks of this. They have a German name, but... I don't actually know German. Delta-3, move in and disarm him. Carefully. Send the French guy. I think that's the French flag. Send the French guy into. Or no, that's Russian. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I was going to say it's kind of funny to send the French guy in to disarm the German guy. But French flag is vertical bars. I think. It is interesting. They all speak perfect English. He's down. Delta One is down. I wonder if I Central. set up the. If I set the uh, damage roulette. Damn it. Delta two, your flank two. Find some better cover. Yeah, I wonder if I set up the whole damage uh, roulette thing. Would it actually? All right, Delta two. Weapons free. Get ready to fire. Maybe let him survive. Okay. I'm just kind of messing with the controls. Alright, fire with the assault rifle for that much. Nice shot. Critical hit for three damage, huh? Delta four, you're freed up to move. Get out of there and get into cover. Now toss your grenade at the enemy in front of you. Yeah, because I can just click on the action bar and then. Doesn't it normally, like, 
light up the enemy. Show that it's going to get hit. Or I guess it's, it's a prop rather than an actual enemy. Look out, Delta that might be the difference. One coming in behind you. Damn it. It's just you now, Delta 2. Let's tip the odds in our favor. Look it's, around for a position where you can flank the enemy. It's interesting how the plasma pistols are insanely good in this mission. Clear shot from that position. Fire. Fire and... Central. Oh, that's interesting that that's where the cursor is is still lighting up from the cursor being there Roger that, Delta. when the camera changed. Secure the bodies and head back to the Sky Ranger for immediate extraction. These are red. I might go with this because I us usually seem to have trouble keeping up with the aliens in the air. We are coming home. It did include weapons and stuff for aircraft, right? So I can upgrade those easier. Sky Ranger Bay is huge, and it can only ever carry six people. What Maybe are enemy. They? Does enemy within increase it? Whatever or do you have they to go are. like long war they for that. took out a squad of our best soldiers. If you'll excuse me, doctors, the commander is waiting in mission control. Their technology is far beyond ours. Then I'd say our work is cut out for us, Doctor. So sarcastic about the Doctor part. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. And I would be playing Enemy Within, but I don't actually own a copy. Commander to the barracks. So, I mean, you can ask for it, but it's not likely to... The soldier is waiting for you in the armory, which is located there in the barracks. all that much. Only one recruit from Delta Squad made it back alive from our last mission, Commander. And I'd say a promotion is in order. Alright, so we became a heavy... As you know, Commander, every okay, soldier fire rocket. This particular soldier has shown an aptitude for heavy weapons. As he gains additional combat experience, we should continue his training along these lines. Okay. Oh, I guess I have to select it. This soldier will now carry a rocket launcher, in addition to his standard weapon. The aliens won't know what hit him. Oh, Dr. Volan asked to see you in the research labs, Commander. It sounded important. Commander to the okay. research labs. Commander to the research lab. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Valen. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Wow, her eyes goofed out there for a second. Right, I need more sectoid corpses for that. Weapon fragments or alien materials. Alright. 
I'm gonna go weapons. It's probably better to shoot them and not give them Thank a chance to fire mind. back than try this to tank their hits. This take some time. We will notify you once it is complete. It sounds like you are needed elsewhere. Farewell, Commander. If you recover any additional artifacts during your field operations, I would be quite eager to study them. Is she hitting Commander on me? Commander to mission control. Commander to mission control. To mission control. The enemy is testing our capabilities, Commander. We've gotten reports of simultaneous attacks in two different countries. We can only respond to one. The country we help will donate more resources to our cause. But the panic level of the country we choose not to help will rise. It's not an easy decision, Commander, but it's one you'll have to make. Okay, quite frankly, since I've got the satellite here and everything, I've almost got to go to China. Plus, the panic is worse here anyway. And the extra 200 credits should help me get off on the right foot. Understood. The troops are waiting for you in the hangar. Commander, before deploying our squad, you can choose which soldiers to send out there. I've taken the liberty of calling up our veteran. His combat experience makes him invaluable on the battlefield. All right, um, for this episode, I'm probably going to get these guys set up because of all the videos that I've been playing and everything. This will just kind of be an intro video. So I am going to get these guys set up, you know, customized and everything, since I can't do much about their abilities or loadout at the moment. Because all I have is body armor, assault rifles, regular pistol and gr frag grenades. Alright. I'm gonna guess maybe that's Ireland going by his last name. And the fact that he's got the reddish hair. Let's see. I believe I have a random word generator on my phone, actually. So just for fun, I am going to randomize two words and use them for the names. All right, first two words are trains oval. I'm going to combine that into one word. Then word number three was mice. So, mouse. It's the name of the main character in Lady Hawk. Great movie from the, I want to say it's from the 80s. Just for fun. That looks more like a name than trying to portmanteau the two. All right, next one's R. Wait for it to load. Rice and not. At least he's Argentinian rather than Asian, because that could be really racist. Rice knot? He explores rice patties or something. Next word was practice. Just because 
Yeah, I'm taking the first two or three words and then just combining them in a way that sounds vaguely like a name. Alright. First two words are unhealthy laugh. Third word is handsome. You know, those are great enough. I am going to just literally name her unhealthy laugh. Just because I find that amusing. Alright, this guy. Customize, reload the list. Wander and filthy. Okay, if I name this guy Filthy Wanderer, which is the way that those two would seem to combine, uh, my comment section is going to be nothing but people yelling at me for being racist. So I'm going to... Pro I'm just going to skip Filthy and go to word 3 on the random list, which is bite-sized. I guess hyphenated words count as one word. So he will be bite sized wanderer because I'm having trouble seeing that as racist um maybe I should have waited until they leveled up and seen if their job would work a little better with different combinations of the names but yeah I'll keep the rookies in the generic but he is getting his uniform swapped around. Race is fine. Oops. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. I don't really know. Uh, his head looks fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna... Okay, hair slash helmet. Well, let's swap the armor decorations. Are there really only three possibilities? Kind of like this one with all the extra ammunition. Armor tint. I know making him stand out is probably a bad idea. Except it doesn't actually change the odds of him getting hit at all. Oh, can you customize the nickname once he gets one? Alright. On the games I started, I, I've never been this. I just tend to like start games, then forget where I am and what I'm trying to do. So I'll start a new one, because I won't play for a while. So I'll start a new one. But, if I remember right, I usually give each class a different kind of helmet, so I can tell them apart easier from above. But since all I have is a heavy, I'm not going to mess with that right this instant. Yeah, but I am going to start this mission, and, like, right from the deployment phase, I guess. I'm going to save the game. We're heading into China for the next operation. Yeah, see, we picked up a local broadcast in the, the whole central communication area. didn't show up until the mission was hostiles. done loading last time. That's what was so weird. Collateral damage is not a concern. That's really good to know. I don't know why this takes so long to load, though. I hope my hard drive's okay. I sure hope I ran this as administrator, if I needed to. So it'd be annoying to get out and have it just erase my save. Like, since I did the copy-paste thing, so I can't find the disk or the CD key or anything. Oh, 
wonder if I can figure out how to crop this minute or so out of the video, because this is getting ridiculous. I mean, because if there was something wrong, it would tell me, right? Hold on, soldier. Before you move out, let's see what's inside that building. Your squad mate is closer, so let him check it out. Alright, thanks for watching. I guess... Go ahead and get angry at me for going through the tutorial and having them walk me through it. Did that save? It says it did. Alright, um... Thanks for watching. See you guys in about two seconds my time. A little longer in yours, I'm assuming. <laughs>